Flyfishes are one of the most dreaded and hated salmonid bosses in Salmon Run, and are probably one of the main causes for wraps in freelance mode, so in this bonus episode of Salmon Report series, I'll show you 5 cool tricks to deal with them fast with a single shot or move that you might not have known before. And if you like what you see, consider to subscribe and check out the rest of the channel for more Splatoon content. By now I hope everyone knows the Explusher is a special weapon for Salmon Run, as their shots count as splat bombs and they're able to damage and splat flyfishes and mudmouths, so getting this weapon in the rotation is already a blessing for many. But many don't know that in fact with careful aiming you can one hit splat a complete flyfish with the Explusher. All you need to do is aim around the middle of your target, right between those two lids of the flyfish launcher, and the job will be done. Mastering this technique will speed up splitting flyfishes and give you that extra time you need so much in Salmon Run. Killer Veil is also a really cool special, but I often see it wasted, especially in freelance mode on using it in panic at a single pack or horde that you can't deal with, and I guess if you survive it is not a waste. But the Killer Veil specialty is the ability to be able to deal with two dangerous locations and situations at the same time. In this clip of Brian, an experienced Salmon Run player, you can see that he recognizes the danger of multiple stingers and flyfish spawning everywhere on the map, and he uses the double targeting feature of the Killer Veil to split two flyfishes with a single special. All you need to do is aim the first laser at your first target, and then switch to your second target for the next laser. This way, you will use your special more efficiently against multiple targets, and you can deal with multiple threats at once, and not just flyfishes. The next one is probably my favorite, which is a special technique for Reef Slider that mostly only works on Gonefish and Hydro Plant. Since Reef Slider is an area explosion around your character, this stage allows you to split even multiple flyfishes at once. Normally, you aren't able to use it against them since the explosion isn't high enough, but the walls on Hydro Plant allow you to slide at the edges of the wall and you will be just in range to splat those flyfishes with no problem. And if there's more than one next to each other, perfect. The crucial part of this trick is that you need to be at the same height with the launcher, so if the flyfish is on a platform or it's high tide, it will likely not work and the reef slider will be wasted. Crap tanks are also a great special to get on Salmon Run as they have so many uses from being the best Gohozuna damage dealers, having high range to shoot stingers or steelheads, or just roll through a bunch of lesser salmonids when you're in a pickle, but I rarely see people use its bombs. You can in fact use a crap tank bomb similarly like an explosher to damage flyfish launchers, and the cool part is if you aim in the middle between the two lids, the same way it will count as a one hit splat. In fact, this also works with the Inkjet, so practice that aiming with both specials for the right spot with flyfishes, and you'll have no trouble with them in no time. And finally, the Extra Wave. I highly recommend checking my Kohozuna guide on how to be successful against King Salmonids, but I still can't stress enough how important it is to use your Egg Cannon against other bosses as they deal so much damage they one-hit split most of them. Not only that, but just like all other explosions, you can use your egg cannon the same way and shoot right in the middle of the flyfish to instantly splat them, turning one egg into three, and continue shooting at Kohazuna while also taking care of a priority target. Using the egg cannon against bosses is such a vital strategy I don't see enough players use it, but it makes extra wave infinitely easier once you use those eggs against all kinds of danger, not just Kohazuna. It is not a waste if it helps you keep being aggressive. Hope these little tricks will help you in Salmon Run and getting rid of those flyfishes and overall help you get those higher ranks and scales. As usual, if you have any further tips or tricks against flyfishes, let us know in the comments, or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much for watching and the support everyone, and I'll see you all the next time. Bye bye